I, we call this the bag wall. Uh, I, I'm going to try to film this step by step as I build this uh, bake oven. Uh, I usually don't use mortar, but since uh, an arch calls for wedges, I'm going to use the mortar to sort of complete the wedge. And that, uh, we call that the veneer, those inch thick uh, fire brick against the block wall. Uh, and, and why I've got it laid like it is, is so that the long bricks will hold the veneer against the wall, physically. I don't count on mortar at all there. Alright, we'll see how it goes. But I did manage to get the uh, mortar in, in between the, the, the bricks. And also, this is not normal mortar. This is fire clay, sand, and Portland uh, 111 mixed together. Double arch that I put mortar on is what we're calling it a bag wall. It's to keep the flame rolling inside the uh, bake oven. Okay, now I'm going to put aluminum over that. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. That aluminum is not going to stay. It's going to come out on the underside. But it's to spread the bearing out. And the, our, the form itself, we intend to burn it out. It's going to be so hard to get out, we'll just burn it out. But at the moment, I'm going to lay brick on there. But at the moment, the aluminum's most important job is to keep it warm. Because we've got cold weather coming because of that mortar. The cold weather's coming. Uh, I don't think uh, I'd be likely to have the time to do it much better, so I'm gonna do it and see what happens. I uh, took a wet uh, brush and brushed it. Wet. I'll cover this with plastic now. Uh, and leave it uh, and then see what happens uh, you know when I take the form out from under it huge cracks may develop I'm not sure if so I'll fill the cracks uh, you know I don't know this is a little experience but uh, you've been with me on it bye for now